Hello my dear children and parents. Welcome to in this valley public school rat e-learning classes. Class 8 where we were doing topic English grammar and topic in grammar was sentence. In our previous video we had studied about types of sentences. Assertive sentence and declarative sentence. These type of sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. In this sentence we find general kind of declaration statement or any fact and figures these sentences these sentences are divided into two parts affirmative and negative affirmative sentence tells about something tell, tells about some person or something or you can say it is a general statement about a person whereas negative sentence negate something or they are negative in nature no not never these kind of words are present in negative sentences next is your imperative sentences start with a capital letter and ends with a full stop in imperative sentences we find person giving command order request advice or suggestion so whenever we find all these type of feelings or all these type of expression in the sentence then this becomes your imperative sentences next come to the interrogative sentences interrogative sentences starts with a capital letter and ends with a question mark so in this type of sentences we want to know something where that thing is unknown to you so whenever any unknown thing that you want to know that that type of sentence becomes your interrogative sentences interrogative sentences are in two ways first yes no type and other is question word so what is yes no type suppose somebody is asking are you coming to play okay are you coming to play so that means yes if you want to go you will say yes i'll come or if you're not willing then you will say no i'll not come so yes no type okay if somebody is asking where is my bag so you will say your bag is on the table so it's a full sentence okay so when your reply is in full sentence that becomes a direct questions or question word wala question now coming to the exclamatory sentences these sentences start with the capital letter and ends with the exclamation mark now what is that so here it means when you have a sudden feeling of surprise happiness joy sudden expressions are revealed of the speaker then that type of sentence becomes your exclamatory sentences okay now children moving to the different topic that is phrase it is also a part of sentence now before moving towards the definition of phrase just look into some sentences some group of words like in the garden on the chair a football player walking in the fresh air to cook dinner so children just look in in the garden anything can happen in the garden means you may be in the garden cat may be in the garden your brother in the garden or you your family in the garden and flowers are in the garden so anything happen in the garden so in the garden is making some sense but what type of sense we cannot say it is not giving a complete sense of the sentence so now look into the next sentence on the chair you might be sitting on the chair cat might be sitting on the chair your book might be there on the chair but on the chair is giving you some sense but not the full sense so when group of words that gives some sense but not the complete sense then it is known as phrase it do not have a subject it do not have a verb okay so come here your definition a phrase is a group of words that makes sense but not complete sense it does not have a subject and verb and which kind of verb finite verb Now coming towards the features of phrases. So it is a group of words. Do not make complete sense. Do not have subject. Do not have verb. May contain infinitives. What is infinitives? Two plus verb ka first form. So here two fine is the first form of the verb. Okay. May contain non-finite verb. So where your verb is not changing, that becomes your non-finite verb. Now coming towards finite and non finite explanation what is finite verb 
a verb that changes according to the time of action that is past present and future the number of person doing action like singular or plural and the person like first person second person or third person doing action so it's first person i we this is first person second person is you and he she it they that is your third person so when a verb change according to time according to number according to person then it becomes your finite verb now coming to the non finite verb that is a verb that do not change according to the time of action past present future the number of person doing action singular or plural and the person like first person second person or third person doing action then it becomes a non finite verb let's see the examples of finite verb i write i wrote she writes they write now see the changing of the main verb write how it is changing i in simple present tense we consider as plural so i write in past tense wrote so present and past change write ka wrote ho gaya she singular so write s came at the end of the verb they plural write so s is omitted so now this write is changed according to the time according to the person according to the this thing according to the number so we can say finite verb changes coming to the non finite verb look into the example i'm writing he is writing they will be writing she was writing so i he writing do not change they is plural and in future tense it does not change she was writing this is in past tense and again the writing word is not changed so you can say verb do not change okay next one types of phrases so we have three types of phrases they are noun phrase adjective phrase and adverb phrase let's come to the noun phrase a phrase that act as a noun or do the work of a noun how to find out it is a noun phrase identify the verb in the sentence and then put up question what to the verb and whatever the answer we will get it becomes your noun phrase for example he likes to watch cricket so what is your verb likes so here identify the verb likes you will say to watch but this to watch is your infinitive so a phrase can have infinitive but this is not the main verb main verb is likes so now put up the question likes ko which question you will put what so what he likes to watch cricket so to watch cricket becomes your noun phrase okay now coming towards the adverb phrase a phrase that perform the function of an adverb in a sentence to find adverb phrase first identify the verb and then you can ask question how when where to the verb okay now how to know adverb of manner when to know adverb of time where to know adverb of place Now coming towards the example of adverb phrase he works in a professional manner okay so identify the verb that is works how he works in a professional manner so this becomes your adverb of manner they walk in the park with their pets identify the verb that is walk where walk in the park so this becomes adverb of place next once upon a time when i was a child so verb is was so when when i was a child so this become adverb of time so when how you put up the question where you have put up the question and when you have put up the question and when you got the answer for these things then it becomes your adverb and adverb of manner adverb of place adverb of time accordingly okay now moving towards the next phrase that is adjective phrase a phrase that performs the role of an adjective it usually comes after the noun it explains noun it qualifies so generally it used to come after the 
Now, for example, a bangle made of gold. So your noun is bangle and made of gold. It is coming after that. So that becomes your adjective phrase. Now coming towards your homework. So here we completed with your topic phrase, type of phrase. Then you will write all this thing in your notebook. So first question, write down the definition of phrase and its type. Okay. Write five examples of phrase. It's not clause that is extra written. Please omit it out. Only you have to write the examples of phrases that we have studied. Okay. That is adjective phrase. Noun phrase and adverb phrase. Please do not write about the clause. Omit that. Take the correct option. I have given you some statement that you have to do. I love to watch cricket. So that red wala part you have to identify which type of phrase it is. Noun, adjective or adverb. Next one. His sudden illness. Worried us. So which type of phrase it is. She joined our team in the end. Noun. Adjective or adverb. Next one. Beaver was a man of great wit. Noun, adjective or adverb. 26 January is a day to be remembered. Noun, adjective or adverb. Okay, children. So please do your homework. Please go through the video. Any doubt, do call me up. Or clear your doubt in your doubt session or online classes. Now it's the time to say you. Bye-bye and thank you so much. Take care.